Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're doing something a little different and a lot of fun. I am gonna give you five different gift ideas that are super inexpensive that you can customize using Posca pens for your loved ones. So let's jump right into the video. Okay, so I went to two of my favorite stores, the dollar store and HomeSense, and I got some really inexpensive stuff that we are gonna customize to make look a little bit more expensive. And really, it's just gonna be from the heart because we're customizing it for people we love. So, the first item I got from the dollar store is this stainless steel water bottle. Honestly, it's pretty decent, and it was only $4 from the dollar store. So I think I'm gonna be doing some lettering on this for my mom so she can keep hydrated at work. The next item I got from the dollar store is a mug. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a mug. So we're gonna try and do some cool design on it to make it look a little bit less boring. The other thing I got from the dollar store is this makeup bag. It was only four bucks. So I think we could do some cool flower designs on it to spruce it up just a little bit. And then I got these marble coasters that were only 10 bucks. And I think we could do some really cute designs on these. These will not be staying in my house because my two-year-old would probably end up using them as some sort of weapon. So we're gonna give these to my mom probably. And then last but not least, you can never go wrong with creating your own Christmas ornaments. So I just got a box of plain ones from Michaels and this one is glass. If you're prone to breaking things, you might not wanna use glass. I really shouldn't be using glass. But I've had an idea since my husband and I just bought our first house. We're not even in there yet as I'm filming this. I thought I would paint a little picture of our first house together and that could be a little gift for him for Christmas. So let's jump right into the video and start painting. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the water bottle here. I'm just gonna take off this plastic covering and it's gonna go to my mom. So I want to write her name on it. I'm gonna write Mrs. Saunders because that is her teacher name at school. So I'm just going to get my pencil first. So it's always a great idea to start off doing a pencil outline just to make sure it looks the way you want it and the spacing is correct. And then I just got my black Posca marker. I think it was a size 3M, which is a decent size for lettering. And I just carefully, this is sped up, so I didn't actually do it this fast. I just carefully started to write her name. I then added some faux calligraphy by making the downstrokes a little bit thicker. So it looks just like calligraphy. It's a little trick. If you don't know how to do it, I, I suggest you learn. There's some videos on it, but it, it's pretty fancy. <laughs> so I just filled in those downstrokes and then I got this liquid chrome marker that I got a while back and just did one side of each of the letters to give it a little bit of sparkle and brightness. It is a pretty awesome marker and I think it really added something to this water bottle. And there we go. We turned this simple little bottle into a personalized custom water bottle. And I think it looks pretty cute. I don't know if I should do any more on it. I think that's pretty good for now. I do love this pen. Um, I got it off Amazon a while ago and it took forever to come, but it's pretty cool. It's liquid chrome and it looks like liquid chrome. It's awesome. I'll put it in the link below if I can still find it on Amazon. And yeah, that's our first one down. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is this makeup case, and I think I'm just gonna do some flowers. I did test out my pen beforehand to make sure it stays, and I think we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna use my white Posca pen for this. I think I'm gonna have them coming from the bottom.
So after thinking about it, I decided that this makeup case was gonna be for my niece and I wanted to put her initial on it. So I did a nice B and then I made a little mistake. It kind of got caught there, but I'm gonna fix it. Just wait and watch, it's kind of awesome. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to personalize it a bit more. So I just took a black Posca marker and went over the little white bits that kind of sprayed other, everywhere. And then because her initial is B and we call her B, I made a little bumblebee outline and it looks super cute. Cute, and there you go. It's simple and classy. Very, very cute. And that's it. Okay, so next we are gonna do a mug. I was thinking of doing like a fun, pretty floral design. I wonder if I put it in here, if it will stay still. Haha, <laughs> it does. All right, okay, so I'm gonna start with, I think I'm gonna do a pink flower. We're gonna do some flowers. Okay, so for these flowers, it's very similar to how I did the pumpkin Posca marker flower thing, if you saw that video. Basically, you're just gonna do an outline of your flowers and then fill them in completely with the color. I tried to pick some colors that went nicely together and were bright, and then I added some bright leaves, just filling it all in. Add a little bit of green, and I use two tones for one side of the leaf, a lighter and a darker, and I end up doing the same for the blue leaves as well. And then I take my white Posca pen and I do all the detailed outlines of the flowers and it really just makes it pop. So I continue to outline all the leaves and all the flowers, adding that extra bit of detail, which really makes it look detailed. Is that, I don't know. And then I just kind of saw that it could use a couple more leaves to the side to make it flow a bit better. And you can add whatever you want. Honestly, it's super easy and so fun to do. And there we go, there is our fun floral design. So with ceramics, you can actually put in the oven. Um, on the Posca website, it gives you directions on how long to put it in there, at what temperature, and it will help make it permanent. And I think I'll also spray it with some sort of sealant after, after the oven, not before the oven. Um, but yeah, so there you go. There's a cute little floral design and you can always write someone's name on it. And there you go. Okay, so moving on to the ornament now. For this, I actually used acrylic paint because I didn't have a paint marker that was the color of beige that our house is that I needed. So just for the background, I used this acrylic paint. Um, and then I decided to outline with my Posca pens. And the only little hiccup with this was that the Posca pens did scrape off a bit of the acrylic paint underneath. It wasn't a huge deal, but you just gotta be careful that you're not pressing too hard and you get that paint flowing. The little brick detail. It's a messy, cute, detailed house. It's not like super great, but it's cute and it'll be a cute ornament. Just put as many details as you can in there. And then also because it is Christmas, I decided to add little Christmas wreaths to our house, the front door and the garage. A little bit of detail here and there. And I think it looks really cute. Okay, and last but not least, the marble coasters. So I just used some painter's tape to block off some areas and we're just gonna do some like chunky color blocking. I want them simple and easy. I used my big Posca marker for this, the 8M. It was just easier to lay on the paint. Um, but yeah, I decided not to do too many details with this. I'm gonna be giving these to my mom and my stepdad. So I wanted them nice and simple and classy. So I just decided to do that color blocking with the black and then I will add some silver and do some of their initials.
Okay, so there you go. They're all done. I'm gonna wait for everything to dry and then I'm gonna take all of the things outside except probably the leather case. Um, the paint seems to be sticking to it fine. But for the mug and the water bottle and these and the ornament, I am going to take them outside and spray them with this sealer that I got at Michael's. And you just wanna make sure that you are spraying it at least I think 10 inches away from a, in a, with a side to side motion. Do not do it too close or the paint will come off. So yeah, I'm gonna go seal those and then everything will be done. all so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you got something out of it got some good ideas for inexpensive gifts for your loved ones you know you don't have to spend a fortune it just has to come from the heart and putting some effort and time into something can really go a long way so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video oh don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram for even more and that's about it i think so have a wonderful day bye